Okay, let's do this. So this way I'm gonna show you what are conditional branches and how you can use them inside events to make really really cool stuff. So, well, let's get started. Okay, so this week, as an example for showing you how conditional branches work, we're gonna have an NPC over here that is ready to lend our players money on the condition that the player already has an account with the bank. If he doesn't have an account, then it's just gonna tell the player to go talk to this guy so that he can open one. Now, this guy is ready to open an account for the player on the condition that the player has money otherwise it's gonna tell him to get out of here and stop wasting his time and finally we have a shady character right over here which is gonna give us 10 gold for absolutely no reason okay let's get started first off what we're gonna do for this character is that inside contents we're gonna go directional we're gonna go directly inside conditional branch now conditional branch works similarly in the same way as the conditions for event pages except that it only occurs inside the content of that page and you have the option of having something else happening if the condition is not respected. So let me give you a quick example. As you can see, you have conditions for switch, for variables values, for self switches, for timers, you have it for actors inside the party, the name, class, skill, weapon, armor, states, enemies, character, uh, facing direction, if vehicles are being driven, gold, items, weapons, armor, buttons if they are being pressed, and also scripts. Now, what we're interested in for today is the gold of the party. So if he has at least 10 gold inside his pocket, then we're gonna do something. And otherwise, we're gonna select something over here, which is the else branch. Otherwise, we're gonna do something else. So here's the condition block that's just been created. Now, what happens, as I just said, if the player has 10 gold, we have something here happening. And if he doesn't have 10 gold, then we're going to do this and set what's going to be over there. So let's show some text. Pick a character face. It's going to be this guy. Uh, hey, you got 10 gold. I'll open an account for you. And then we're going to pop up some dialogues with our face. Uh, a bank account has been created. And it's going to, of course, activate a switch. Which is going to be as a uh, player as bank account. There we go. So the switch name is the player has a bank account. It's going to be true. So this is what's happening if the player has 10 gold. Now, if he doesn't have 10 gold, then the character is just going to tell him, well, stop wasting my time. All right, so let's run this. So the forbidden ink, the character has zero gold. So right now it's going to tell him, well, stop wasting my time. Now, if I talk to Shady character, he's gonna give me 10 gold for no reason. And so, if I come back over here... Hey, you got 10 gold and open an account for me. Yeah, that's how the dialogues are being treated. Uh, let me just show you why real quick. It's because, as you can see, there's a little line over here. Every text that goes over here, it might kind of disappear. That's how RPG Major handles text for some reasons, which is super weird. So, let me just fix this. But as you can see, we were reading the dialogues that was inside this block because the condition that the player has 10 gold was respected. And so he was going to activate the player as bank account switch, which we're going to need for our second NPC. Now, the second NPC is simply going to be conditional branch. Now, if the player has a bank account, otherwise something else. So, if the player doesn't have a bank account, it's going to tell him to go talk with his colleague. So, well, let's go with the, this face seems okay, I guess. Nah, this face. Okay. Well, uh, you need uh, to talk to my colleague to open a bank account. And if the player has a bank account, then it's going to be... Fantastic. Okay. 
here is your money and then it's gonna just give the player some gold because why not that's what banks do, do right they just give you free money for no reason right no okay well too bad so that is quite a simple example so as you can see if the player has a bank account it's gonna do something if he doesn't have a bank account then it's gonna do something else so let's apply press ok save and let's run this once more now if i talk to this npc you need to talk to my colleague to open a bank account of course so now if i go talk to his colleague well stop wasting my time because the character doesn't have any money right now now if i talk to shady character he's gonna give me 10 gold now even if my 10 gold the switch over here has not been the condition still not respected so i'm gonna need to open an account here hey you got 10 gold and open an account for you now the bank account has been created and if i come talk to this character over here since the switch over there got created now fantastic here's your money bye and then as i can see he gave me like the 100 gold so this is how you can use conditional branches you don't have necessarily to always make new event pages because if you always want this event to be behaving this way that's perfectly fine now you could of course use conditional branches you don't have to always create an else branch that means that to give you one more example something that could that could be done is if the player has a bank account then do something but we're not gonna remove the something else so basically if the player has a bank account something is gonna happen otherwise nothing is gonna happen that's not the ideal scenario but it's just to show you that you don't necessarily need to have a health branch like in that case if I, if I talk to this npc nothing happens because i don't have a bank account so let's just create one and now since the condition is respected then there we go he's lending my money so for the conditional branches don't necessarily need to always use an else branch but that's something you can do if you want to do something in case where conditions are not respected so as you can see conditional branch can be very very useful to implement system inside your game and also gameplay elements we'll see in other tutorials how we can use this to implement some really really cool system much cooler than a banking <laughs> much cooler than banking system but i'll leave it at that for this week so that's it for this week's video make sure to like subscribe whatever and i'll see you next week Okay, bye.